Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we are going to be installing what is known as Glue, which is the GL Extension Wrangler library. And what it does is it takes care of what are called extensions for us, so we don't even have to think about it. It essentially figures out uh, what our hardware can can work with and uh, and enables what are called extensions so that uh, if our hardware is, you know, not quite up to par with uh, the, mo the more modern stuff, we can still use some of the modern features. So I'm going to take you to the website here. There will be a, a link in the description. Now, if you're on Mac, I'm going to show you, sorry, if you're on Windows, I'm going to show you how to install it. If you're on Mac, I can't show you. Uh, you actually apparently don't really need glue for Mac uh, because the uh, extensions work a little bit differently on Mac OS. Instead, you'll, you'll just have to include the OpenGL header, which is really easy, and I'm going to be showing you it in the next videos. Now, uh, you can install this for Mac uh, and for Linux. There are plenty of guides online, so just, you know, use Google and you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, so if you're on Windows, go to this main page here, then go to uh, the downloads page. Actually, I'm on the downloads page, and you'll see all the different versions. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, the most recent one. It adds OpenGL 4.5, which is really cool. We're going to click on that. Keep in mind, you don't need glue to do OpenGL stuff. It just makes it a lot easier uh, if you're on Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, win32.zip. haven't actually installed this yet, so hopefully it won't be too long of a download. Downloading in three seconds. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and get our uh, little project folder pulled up. So I believe I have it saved under Documents, Visual Studio, and then Projects. And then graphics tutorials. Here we are, and here's our depths folder that we made. So we have SDL here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we don't need to make a GL folder. We can just drop the stuff in directly. All right, so here we go. We have this. I'm going to save it. There we go. It saves really quick. I have a lot of stuff open, as you can see. And I'm going to drag it to my desktop. So there's glue. And then let's extract to the glue folder. And here it is down at the bottom. So I'm going to open this up, and the, and the installation is actually really easy, and uh, it's going to be really fast because we've already got all this include lib stuff set up. That's what the benefit of the steps folder is. So as you can see, we have an include and a lib here, and then we have an include and a lib here. So this actually makes it really easy for us. I'm going to go in the lib folder and this lib folder, and I'm going to copy. We're going to use the release version, not release MX. And we're going to go to Win32 for 32-bit. And I'm just going to copy both of these in here. We're going to be using the non-static one. So we're going to be using Glue32, not Glue32S. But you can go ahead and copy them both. Then I'm going to go to the Include folder. And then GL, I'm just going to copy this whole folder into this Include folder, just like that. And if we look in here, we'll see uh, three header files, Glue, GLX Glue, or GLXU, and then WGlue. We're going to just include Glue.h. And that's pretty much all we have to do. We also have this bin and then release Win32, and we have the DLL we need. And you remember with the DLL, we have to just copy it next to our executable. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to come over here to debug and paste it right here. So now we have glue32 and sdl2.dll in here. Now let's go ahead and open up our project, and it should be pretty much set up. We should be able to now include uh, glue.h. So let's go ahead and include, include. And we're going to type in GL because it's in the GL folder. Unless you're in code blocks, it apparently doesn't always do that. And as you can see, we have several things here. We have a GL.h. This is probably kind of going to be what you're going to be including if you're on Mac, if you're not using glue. We're going to actually just include glue.h, and glue.h in turn will include GL.h for us. So it's going to basically set up all of the OpenGL stuff for us, and we don't even have to worry about it. And then since I'm on Windows, I'm going to include windows.h at the top. And I, I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I actually think it is necessary on Windows to do this. On Mac, you shouldn't have to do this. So uh, including windows.h will give us some Windows stuff that Glue needs uh, to function properly. So as you can see, it included fine. We're not getting errors. We do, however, have to uh, add some libraries. So let's go ahead and go to, uh, was it project properties? And we're going to go to the linker down here. And we're going to go to input. And we can see all these dependencies that we added, the SDL2 ones. All right, so we're going to add two more dependency, dependencies to this. We're going to add opengl32.lib, and then we're going to add glue32.lib, glue I, I believe. Could be wrong here. 
Let's go ahead and consult the guide so I'm not telling you the wrong thing here. Back, actually I have it right here. Installation, and it says opengl32.lib and glue32.lib. So I told you the correct thing, except it's lowercase, opengl32.lib. All right, so there we go, and we hit OK, Apply. Let's go ahead and just run it, and it should be uh, completely fine. Everything should work pretty much as expected. We shouldn't get any weird errors. It's just going to take a long time to build because I'm running on battery power right now. I have an hour left. We're good. There we go. It ran fine. So uh, this was obviously really easy. Hopefully it all worked out for you. If it did not, please let me know. And if I need to amend this video in any way, I will, or I will help you in the, dis in the comments. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next tutorial when we will actually do something.